On behalf of the board of the Rockefeller Foundation, I really thank you once again, all of you, for joining us uh, at this celebration. Uh, by all accounts, my great-grandfather and the founder of the Rockefeller Foundation, John D. Rockefeller, wasn't much of a gambler himself. In fact, he has chewed most vices. One of his favorite stories he would tell over a round of golf, he wasn't a very good golfer either, by the way, was how he invited his barber over for a cold one, where he merrily served him a glass of chili water from the local reservoir. But while he wasn't much of a speculator in the Department of Vice, he certainly took significant risks in both his business activities and in his philanthropy. And in his foundation, he would subsequently raise the stakes even higher demonstrating that those early philanthropic pioneers, Carnegie and Rockefeller in particular, could revolutionize medical education in the United States, connect many strands of medical science, as Judy said, to form the field of public health, create better educational opportunities for African Americans, or bring scientific medicine to China at a time when such things were thought entirely too ambitious if not impossible. It was this speculative and courageous spirit that truly launched the century of philanthropy we celebrate today. And I certainly believe my great-grandfather's imagination would have been captured by the big bets we just heard described. So please, let's give our betters another round of applause. So we've spent the first part of this celebration looking forward and, I hope, building your own appetite for creative risk-taking. We hope we've also built your appetite for reflection and cuisine. And we invite you to join us for tonight's dinner where the celebration will continue and where I personally promise you a real cold one. Thank you. <laughs>